Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be buying one of the two dragon horses that Star Stable has uh, re-released. Um, they're called Faramore and Aldrak. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it, but that is what I'm going to go with. Um, I'm not normally a fan of magical horses, but I thought I'd give these two a go as they have gorgeous normal coats. So we're going to take a look at both of them. I'm going to buy one and then we're going to do a nice showcase at the end. Um, the amount of star coins I have at the moment is quite sad. Um, I've bought so many horses in the last few weeks um, that all need training. So they will all have training videos coming, but it is going to take quite a while for me to get through them all. Um, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get going and buy one of these horses. Okay, so we're going to head up to the dragon horses now. I originally thought they were based on the Percheron models, but then I had another look and I believe they're based on the Frisians. Um... I do like the Frisians, I know the Frisians are sort of a difficult topic for some people because some people absolutely hate them and what Star Stable did with them, but I don't mind them, um, I do have one. Um, yeah, but I thought they were based on Persia ones, but they're really not, it is the Frisians. Um, let's take a look at these sort of stingrays first. I definitely won't be buying these because I'm all about the realistic life in this game as far as I can be and this is the most unrealistic looking thing I've ever seen in my entire life and I cannot justify spending 400 star coins on it it's just not happening um so both of these I'm gonna pretend that they don't exist okay so let's start off with the green one um I definitely prefer the magical coat on this one it's a lot darker and it's a lot more neutral than I suppose that bright red I love the eyes as well they are gorgeous and the mane and the tail is also lovely I do wish on both of them though they didn't put this horn on now I know it's something that a lot of dragons have but I just think it would look better if it wasn't there um but the rest of this coat is lovely I don't ever ride my horses who are magical with their magical coats it's always with the normal coat so we're sort of going to skip over this sort of part of it this coat is stunning i love this i love this stripe that we've got going down the back of his tail here um the only thing i would say for this coat is i just wish this mane was a bit darker um it's sort of i don't mind it on the tail with the sort of the lighter tones with the black stripe but on the mane i feel like if it was black or even a slightly darker just this color on the tail it would look better um and since i can't change the mane it's sort of one of those things where it's a bit awkward um so i feel like i just have to get used to it but overall it's not bad his face is gorgeous oh i've already said it is going to be a boy um his face is gorgeous um so uh, this one meh i'm gonna have to think about them both but this one is not too bad at all okay next up is the red one now this one i find a lot more unrealistic i would definitely definitely struggle to find tack to match with this uh, magical coat again it is gorgeous though i do wish they'd remove the horn but um the magical coat on the um on the green one is much more reserved so i definitely prefer that one the magical coat on the not the magical coat so the normal coat on this one i love this face marking and those brown eyes are unreal I absolutely adore them. I think it's got such a cute face. This would definitely be a girl um, if I did get this one. The only thing that I don't like is this mane and tail. I just feel like it's sort of just been dipped in sort of red, red or brown dye. And it, it sort of hasn't faded out properly. If the mane and the tail were just this solid sort of blonde colour. Then I think it would look much, much better. Um, but that's what's putting me off of this one. Um yeah i just wish it was just one solid color especially again with the fact that we can't change the main it sort of makes it a lot harder um okay um i'm gonna take a few minutes myself just to have a look at them both again and then i'll come back to you when i've decided on which one i'm gonna get okay so it took me ages like normal but i think i'm gonna go for Faramore today um i just think that the main's just a little bit more suitable than it is on the red one um so i think we're gonna go for him um in terms of names i have already thought of it which is very unusual for me it normally takes me absolutely ages um so we're gonna go with eternal because he's a magical horse we're going to do a stallion and his name is going to be titan um after a Persian run that i had that i sold um so i'm gonna uh 
in memory of him i'm gonna name him titan uh where is it here it is okay yes so we're gonna call him titan let's buy him he's gonna have to go back to my home stable oh i wish it was his normal coat oh oh well oh it kind of fits a little bit better in our hands that's better um yeah we're gonna send him to my home stable i think um i don't have any tack um and we'll go meet him there and then we will do a nice showcase of him okay so here we are back at steve's let's head in and grab him um i have no idea what sort of tack i'm gonna use it's probably gonna take me ages but i will speed through it all here's truth here's my um other persheron that i have um other persheron the only persheron that i have um he's one of my favorite horses i absolutely adore him okay here is titan no to be fair the magical coat is quite cute no it is quite nice but um yeah we're gonna do that okay let's put some tack on him it's gonna take me ages so i'll just skip through it for you guys mm -hmm. 